This Rosh Hashanah was different. I have been singing these melodies and chanting these words and encountering these parts of the Torah, sharing with the incredibly intense gathering because so many people come for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur with hope, with the expectation, with this palpable desire for the world to be recreated better than it has been in the year that's passed. But this year for me was different. The words, the metaphors, each section of the Machzor spoke straight into my heart. And I don't wonder why that is, as we live, as we grow, as we experience more and more of the world's ups and downs. This yearning language, this incredibly beautiful heritage that we have, as it changes, as it morphs, as it is re-articulated by new voices, beautiful voices, raw voices, all of that changes, but there are times in our lives where the metaphors actually stop being metaphors, and there is some literal truth that begins to emerge, and for me, the words of Haven Yakir Li, the words of the prophet saying that God says, my children, I just love playing with you. Come play with me. My eyes were closed as I was singing that, and my youngest child came right in front of me, and I didn't see her until I opened my eyes, and she was right there as I was singing God's words of wishing to play with children, with my children. My father was to my left, and as words that called God, Kerachem Av, a loving father. Do I ever take those words literally? Do I think that God is gendered? Of course not. Was my father godly right next to me? Yeah. And the Machzor, for all of its fraught language, for all of the problematics of hierarchy and gender, for all of the ossified tradition that requires a creative rebirth through us each year, through all of that, somehow Rosh Hashanah was different. I was surrounded by loving voices, so many stories swirling in the air, so much of this year we look forward to letting go of, so much of a year yet to come that we hope can fulfill some of our desires, all of it wrapped in these glorious prayers. And for me this year, suddenly appreciating the words that hold the whole thing together, that hold us as we try to hold ourselves together in a world that can be so full of uncertainty. But what a blessing to stand unprepared and to feel the words caress, to feel the melodies penetrate our hearts, our souls, and to believe in the world, to believe in the year to come, and to feel such gratitude just to be right here right now.